hope you are all are doing well. Last night we went and we played Descenders for quite a while. You know, about two and a half hours. Really, really fun game. We really had a blast with it. Um, there was something else I forgot to check. I wanted to see if... Other song that doesn't have singing, so I'm not talking over somebody. I wanted to see if this game is on sale currently. And it is. So typically this game is $24.99, but it is currently $18. Why is all of... No singing. <laughs> so it is on sale in the Steam sale. Um, pretty much the whole ISO series is um, highly recommended. Highly recommended. Hence why we're playing it here on the stream. Um, don't believe I really have any other housekeeping to get through, so let's just dive into the game. Music, go bye bye, and play. You know, it always opens up the launch configuration tool, despite the fact that I never tell it to open up the launch configuration tool. I don't know why. <laughs> And go live. There we go. And if I remember right, I need to be over here. -ish. That sounds right. We'll see. All right, so we had just gotten into the primeval lands, we went into a tower, and oh, we were trying to get to the tower. I think we were trying to get to ice, the Tower of Isa, to uh, go find the angel. I cannot remember his name. Got the Sanic boots. Welcome on in, Captain Raven. How you doing, buddy? Did we, maybe we went through all of this? I can't remember. El Deal is sleeping silently. He has a slightly pained expression on his face. Right. Okay, I, I remember we had talked to him. Something was going on. I do not remember what the hell happened. And now plot. Journal? Journal will tell us. Okay. We're gonna, we reached El Deal's room, which looks the same as when I visited in my memories, but he's nowhere to be seen. We finally met El Deal, but during our conversation, his dominant personality changed. That's right, he showed like evil. Even his appearance changed. He managed to get it under control, but this appears to be the illness Lisa was trying to hide from everybody. Perhaps we should return another day. Suddenly we smelled smoke. It seemed Highland is being raided. We have to hurry back. Okay. Okay. That's what we need to do. I forgot. Like, it's like I said. It's been about a month. So we needed to needed a little recap. Thank God some games actually put that shit in there. That's something I really like with Dragon Quest Eleven is the fact that they have that. They have that um, kind of while you were gone thing that comes up when you return, and I love that. Absolutely love it. Especially for like long RPGs, because burnout's real. I mean, people eventually gotta go. Like, I gotta fucking play something else for a little while or do something. I need a break. And then you come back and you go, well, shit, I don't remember anything. <sighs> this is so much more convenient than those damn stairs. Wish we could have used this on the way up too. What about made it stop working? I still have no idea. I can't imagine Lord El Deal would shut it off himself. Karna, can you sense it too? Yeah, we're not alone in here. No, don't say that. We really don't have time to be hanging around here anymore. I dislike leaving under the circumstances, but I agree. We must hurry back to Highland. Of course you agree. Oh yeah, Sanctuary of Storms. Thank God we have this lovely little thing here. Sanctuary approach. Oh shit.
this is awful. Calica. Ka er, Calic. Calilica. That's what it was. Calilica. Fortunately, it appears none of the residences were harmed. Every blast looks to have been directed at the roads. So they were just warning shots? Come on, Adel. Let's go to Kalilika's house. Be careful, though. The attackers might still be around. Focus on a find an opening! Focus on offense! Oh, shit. Masks? No. Are these the same masked invaders as the ones you spoke of, Karna? I don't know. The masks look different, but... Pretty sure that's Roman army regalia they're wearing. So that really was Roman cannon fire then. But why? Who are you? No response here either. Just like in Komodo. This isn't looking good. I don't remember how to fight! It is just chaos. That's what's going on right now. Chaos. Uh, recovers 2,000? No. I just want... Permanently increases the user's life by 100. Will that heal me too, or is it just... Nope, that doesn't heal me either. Fuck me. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to use it. Okay. Look, okay, welcome on in. How you doing, buddy? The strength, the reaction speeds, it's exactly the same as in Komodo. It's like they aren't even human. If they're soldiers from your Roman army, that would imply that they're well trained even without the power of masks. I'm doing well, thank you so much for asking. I'm uncertain how long we can stand our ground against a foe this powerful. I believe we may be out of options. Stand down. Isn't that... Red and Kaznan, right? Yeah, he said his name's Gruda and he's in charge of the Roman army. <laughs> Adol Kristen. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. Allow me to extend my deepest gratitude for guiding us to Highland. Why would you do this? I am, after all, under no obligation to discuss my actions with you. You mobilized quickly considering we only just got here recently ourselves. I take it you are well informed? Are you after Lord Eldeel's tower? <laughs> the knowledge of the sanctuary is great indeed, but represents only the tiniest footnote in our grand scheme. Our true objective lies even deeper in the forest. Deeper? No, you can't mean. Behold, the ancient tower falls silent. The rains which have fallen for hundreds of years cease at last, and night gives way to dawn. The sky, it. Oh shit. Uh oh. No, no. no. You. What did you do to Lord Aldeal's tower? <laughs> Can't you tell just by looking? We disabled it, of course. <laughs> no more pesky barrier, no more annoying thunderstorms, full access to all now and forevermore. You! 
What are you doing here? You both have done excellent work. Bami, your experiments with the masks have proven most enlightening. And Goddess, your inv investigation of the primeval lands has yielded invaluable data. <laughs> it's an honor to be of service. <laughs> About time to get, I get some recognition. I have confirmed that the object we seek is not here. As such, please commence preparations for the next phase of the plan immediately. Gotcha. What should we do with the girl? Leave her be for now. She may yet prove useful. I see. Understood. Wait! Experiments? So that means the masks here are... I'm sorry, little girl. I'm afraid I haven't the time to be playing with you right now. Take care of them. <laughs> really, now? What do you think you're doing here? Wait! Get out of the way! You're too late. You should just give up now and save yourself a lot of effort, dear sister. No, it can't be. Rem... No, what are you doing? It's lovely to see you again, Adol. What are you doing here? Do I really need to spell it out for you? I have my duties now as Commander Remnos of the Masked Division, and to my superior, Lord Gruda. What are you saying? Oh, I get it. You're still under that woman's control, aren't you? Nope. I'm afraid not. It is true that Bami had placed me under her power back in Komodo, but now I've chosen to become a member of the Masked Division by my own free will. Uh, did you come all this way looking for me? To rescue me from myself, perhaps? If so, I suggest you just go back home now. Maybe Adol can talk some sense into you. I heard the truth about you, Remnos. From father and that woman alike. They told me that you're actually really strong, but hid it from me because you were afraid I'd be hurt. Because that's the kind of thoughtful, selfless person you are. <laughs> the truth? There seems to be a great misunderstanding here. I just didn't care about hunting or fighting enough to give it my all. Nothing more. No. This forest holds a secret beyond imagination. A secret I want to know. I want to know what happened here in ancient times. Lord Gruda modeled these after the Mask of the Sun that appears in ancient legends, you know. What Bami was doing in Komodo was testing out some of the prototypes. But my lord's true objective here is much greater and more noble than you can possibly imagine. I must see it fulfilled and bear witness to the results of his glorious vision. It's a much more worthwhile pursuit than wasting my life away in a backwoods village like Komodo. Okay. I think I understand. But that's all the more reason I'm going to have to come to drag you back home, kicking and screaming. What? I don't want to believe it, but maybe you are telling the truth. Maybe life in Komodo has been unfulfilling for you. It sucks. But I can't sit by and watch you hurt people like this, and I can't bear to see you rely on some mask to get your way. When the younger brother starts walking a dangerous path like this, it's his older sister's job to put him right again. So like it or not, you're coming home with me, Remnos. Oh, <sighs> this conversation isn't going anywhere. I'm surprised you could be so confident in the face of such overwhelming power. This is where we part ways. Keep them occupied while I take my leave. Man, I hate it when the blanket shifts inside of the fitted sheets. Right, that sucks. Why is his character model's hair the color of an orange, but his normal hair is just orange-brown? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> it's supposed to be the same color as hers, because they're brother and sister. Yeah, they should be heading your way now. Just pass that on. What? I know, I know, you don't have to keep telling me. Yeah, yeah, alright then, good luck. Looks like I can't delay this any longer. The residents are still in a state of confusion. 
considering this town has known nothing but peace for hundreds of years, it's hardly surprising. Far too much has happened in too short of a space of time. We need to consider what to do next, Adam. The Romans sure didn't hang around long. I think they really are heading further into the forest. What do you think Ruta is searching for? I'm gonna say the Mask of the Sun. I agree. That does seem like the most likely possible possibility. Yeah, when El Deal started changing, he was demanding that Adel give it back to him. Do you remember the piece of paper that we found in your grave, Adel? It said tower. Or no, it said receive the mask from. Um, oh, hey, Durin knows more than he lets on, right? Well, I mean, he is a man of information, and he has said that this entire time. Correct. Before losing his memories, Adol must have received the Mask of the Sun from Eldeel. Then, when Eldeel changed personalities during our conversation with him, he told Adol to return to which that had been given. That is the most plausible course of events. Meanwhile, Gruda was using Gaddis and Bami to study the Mask of the Sun and make even copies of it. And now they've come to the Primeval Lands to get the real one. I, I see. However, we still do not know exactly what the Mask of the Sun even is. Do you have any information you could share with us, Mayor? The Kingdom of Celsita. Kingdom of Celsita. In ancient times, a kingdom by that name existed in this region. Supposedly, Lord Eldil assisted in its rulings many hundreds of years ago. It is also said that the kingdom flourished thanks to the power granted by the Mask of the Sun. However, something happened that caused the once prosperous kingdom to be destroyed. Precious few traces remain now. Well, what happened? I'm afraid I cannot say. Supposedly, the people of Highland are descendants of the kingdom of Celsita, but no records exist which describe exactly how the kingdom fell. Lord Aldeel has never spoken of it either. I see. It seems our best option would be to meet him again and ask him to tell us all he knows. However... We're back. Excellent timing. How did it go? Well, um... I know I've asked you before, but I forgot. Have you ever read any of the Discworld series? No, I have not read any of those. I think you've asked me, but I no, I haven't read any of them. Lord Eldil has vanished. We searched the area all around the tower, but there was no trace of him anywhere. Ordinarily, he would only leave his room to visit the town, and even that occurs with marked rarity. And unfortunately, the bad news doesn't stop there. I'm afraid we can't find Lisa anywhere either. Could Gruda have abducted her? Lisa may seem dainty. She's actually pretty quick, quick-witted. I, I don't think she would allow herself to be captured so easily. Still, I'm worried about both her and Eldeel. We need to do something. Who is it now? We're busy, you know. Could it be Lisa? Oh, this buffoon. Is this the mayor's house? I'm the greatest commander, Leo, of the Roman Imperial Celsitan Army. Damn that, Gruda. How could he leave a fine warrior like me behind? Uh, well, they've been treating us like we're nothing but trouble since the beginning. I wanted one of those masks, too. Silence! The soldiers of the glorious Celsitan army have no need for such suspicious masks. Seems like the Romans are a little out of sorts right now, too. Has Gruda been here yet? I can't find him anywhere. You're too late. What? That fiend! Setting a cunning trap just so he could get ahead of us. Sancho, didn't he get ahead of us because the commander got a stomach egg? Yep. And it serves him right for hoarding all those mushrooms before we even left. N never mind that. We've more important issues to discuss than mushrooms. Why is he not following orders? Our orders were to claim the mayor's home and use it as a base, from which we would enact martial law upon the town. Those orders are void. G 
Governor General? What brings you to a place like <clears throat> Men Fallen? At all. Don't just stand there. You're in the presence of Governor General. At ease, Leo. Unbelievable. The Governor General herself coming all the way here? First and foremost, allow me to extend my most heartfelt apologies for the actions of my fellow soldiers. I realize no apology could possibly be sufficient given the circumstances, but I do beg your forgiveness nonetheless. What's going on here? I've heard rumors of you, Griselda. Normally one would not expect to find a woman of noble standing like yourself in such a place as this. You are well informed, I see. However, I have difficulty understanding your actions. First you shell our town, and then you come to apologize. You are correct that Gruda is an officer sent by Rome, and part of the Roman army. However, his orders were to investigate the primeval lands and report back to us with his findings. Nothing more. His actions here were in no way sanctioned by Rome. What? A soldier not obeying orders? How disgraceful! Commander Leo, you will continue following the movements of Garuda and his men, and report back to me. Pursue them as deep into the Great Forest as necessary. Yes, ma'am. Now, Mayor Aaron, I realize this may startle the people of the Highland, and for that I apologize, but I would like to station my soldiers here. What? We cannot have this, the existence of Highland becoming common knowledge outside of the Great Forest. As such, I would like soldiers of my army to stand guard between here and the river to prevent any further intruders. I give you my word that they will cause no harm to the people of Highland under any circumstances. So, that's the situation, is it? Grandfather? Very well, you have my blessing in this. Do as you wish. I am grateful for your understanding. As for you, Adel Kristen. You are free to continue your journey. Huh? I don't recall ever cancelling your outstanding task to complete a map of the Great Forest, after all. I feel that you are a vital piece of the puzzle that is currently unfolding in this region. And even with a single piece missing, the puzzle cannot be completed. This is true, because that's how puzzles work. <laughs> so, that's about the gist of it. What should we do now, Adel? I think we should search for Eldeal. He's got answers we need. Yeah, getting your memories back is top priority, so going after Eldeal makes sense. Whatever you decide to do, I suggest that you cross the sanctuary and journey deeper into the forest. What lies beyond the sanctuary? A place called the Ashen Forest. Then it sits a settlement where the descendants of those who crossed the distant oceans with Lord Eldeal live. Is known as the Village of the Wise. Village of the Wise? Unlike the other people Lord Aldeo brought here, it is said they've chosen to live in isolation. No one is certain why, however, but they may know something about the Mask of the Sun as well as Lord Aldeo's changes. Sounds like it'd be worth a visit then, for sure. Uh, and not to change the subject, but why is Kalilika standing here, all packed up and looking like she's ready to leave? Silly question! I'm worried about Lower Dale Deal too, you know, and Lisa. Adel, I would ask that you please take Lilica with you on your journey. Whatever happens as a result of this current of this current crisis, I feel it will have repercussions throughout the land. And traveling will give Kalilica a good opportunity to decide what path she should walk from this time forward. Grandfather. Furthermore, if you are journeying to the Village of the Wise, it may be helpful to have someone from Highland with you. Happy to have you with us, Kalonka. Pleasure is all mine, Adel. Of course it is. The matter is settled then. Mm. Nice to have you with us. Thank you. Ah, yes, Adel. Please take this as well. A golden wing. I don't know what it does. It'll allow you to warp to any of the monuments you've touched in the entirety of the forest, no matter where you are. Fuck yes. This would normally be given to apostles only, but I believe in the importance of your mission. It will serve you well. 
so we don't have to go find the nearest monolith whenever we want to warp? That sounds incredibly useful. Thanks. Now, take care out there, all of you, and best of luck. Okay. Um, I forgot all my other recommendations, and that one's top recommendation. It's a master class of comedic fantasy storytelling, even if you don't like it, which I think you will like the first book is worth reading or listening to, surely for the cultural importance, and the narrator is very good, too. Huh. I'll have to take a look into that. Right now, I'm trying to... I got it on the 4th, I got my next Audible credit, and I already got another book that lined up for it. Um, it's the second book in the Completion series from Dakota Kraut. So, I just finished the first book, and I was so hooked, and I was like, crap, I got four days to wait for my fucking... my, my uh, credit. Open the map and select warp. Select location warp to. Okay. Where were the quests? Shop. What do you have for me, sir? Bye. Weapons. Everybody's good on weapons. Armor. One, two, three, four, five. I can only buy two. There's a lot of money. Holy hell, that's a lot of money. My credit's coming on the 15th, which is really lucky because that's my birthday. So every year on my birthday, I get a free Awesome. I think I can run without that for now. Let's, let's go see about getting... Where's the quest board? Okay, now, quest. You have a quest, I'll at least go to that. Ah, good to see you. Did you see my request on the board? No. Uh, is there something you wanted us to do? There is, yes. Although it's less a request and more a discussion, I have something I'd like to address with you about your artifacts. Something you'd like to address, huh? This is about your service of yours, isn't it? Are you going to tell them then? <laughs> I am indeed. Sorry, Adol. You probably have no idea what we're talking about. Now that the mayor has accepted you, I'm free to discuss this with you. This workshop here is known as the Artifact Workshop. And as the name implies, I handle special items called artifacts here. That's what we call complex, magically imbued objects. Like the mace and the streetlights in this town. Basically anything operated using mystical energy rather than oil, coal, or other more physical forms of power. Indeed. And all of these artifacts in this town were presented to us by Lord Eltiel. In general, only apostles and apprentices apostles are allowed and apprentice apostles are allowed to possess them for their own personal use. But it seems you already have a few in your possession as well, Adol. I imagine they too must originate from the same source as the ones here. Regardless, the reason I have summoned you here today is to offer my services. I can unleash the full potential of your artifacts. Okay. Indeed, artifacts contain essentially limitless potential. However, under the unless the potential has specifically been unleashed, most artifacts only utilize a small portion of it. And that's where my services come in. I can release the true potential of any artifacts you find, but to do so, I'll need power stones, gems containing magical power, few of which still remain in existence. Okay. Did you really understand all that, Adol? Even if you didn't, I'm sure you will after you see it for yourself. Would you be able to show us, Philemon? I'd love to, but while I have the facilities and technology here, I'm a bit short on materials at the moment. So, can I ask you to bring me some gems? I knew this would be, wouldn't be as simple as it sounded. What is it you need? Mm, how about I unleash the power of your dwarf bracelet first? For that, I'll need one emerald and one topaz. One emerald, one topaz, huh? Those aren't going to come cheap. But if that's what you need, that's what you need. Let's go see if we can track those down. I think I have those. Like, I legit think I have those. Here you go, Philemon. We brought the gems you requested. Thank you. I guess I'll get started then. So what does this do? 
Like, do I get super, super, super small? Yeah, it looks like the process was successful. He actually has all the resources he needs. He's just running the racketeering scheme. <laughs> so, what's different about it now? Will it allow us to become even smaller or something? No, it doesn't work that way. Instead, you can now maintain your physical strength when using the artifact. So even when you're miniaturized, you can still fight as you would normally. We're Ant-Man! I see. Useful. If not a little boring. <coughs> boring? Boring or not, it's the general gist of what I can do for you here. Oh, and... Tamale? Yes, Gramps? Adam and his friends are going to be regular customers here from now on, so see to them if they need anything. Hmm, alright. Well, do feel free to come back here if you need our services again. When you want one of your artifacts unleashed, just talk to Tamale. Tamale is making me hungry for a tamale. <laughs> it's a horrible joke, but it's true. I want a tamale now. Alright, what else can we unleash? Additional damage underwater. Dashing knocks enemies back. Increase HP recovery speed. Oh. Oh, don't have enough materials. I have enough for the dragon scales. All right. So what do I need? I need an amethyst. Where do I find one of these things? Where the hell are the quests? Wait, where's the quest board in this game? Up here. Clear. Purchasing silver. I wish to purchase three silver ingots for a high price. And I have a personal request for add-on less friends. Please speak to me at the cathedral. Is it the starting town that does the gem making? I honestly cannot remember. You have a quest. Appreciate the enthusiasm, but you don't seem to have any with you. Oh, fuck off. And there's not going to be a place here where I can make them. I'm going to have to go back to the normal town. Or the original town. Did you see my quest on the board? Yes, that's why we're here. What is it you'd like us to do exactly? Actually, I'd like you to defeat a group of guardians. Guardians? What do you mean exactly? Tower Guardians, you know, they're fine if they remain inside the tower, but for some reason, possibly because of the storm's abating, several of them have wandered out into the sanctuary. They haven't gotten too far just yet, but they've gone a bit haywire. I can't imagine they trek all the way to the town, but it's not a risk I'm willing to take. There's no hurry, so you can take care of this request whenever you get the opportunity, assuming you're willing to help that is. Of course, leave it to us. Mm-hmm. Guardians in question look a lot like insleeps. There will be some visible differences, and they're also likely to be much stronger than the insteps you've encountered in the tower before. I confirm five of them in total. They prefer to attack in groups, so if you can defeat them all, the problem will be solved. Thank you again, and do take care. Yeah, easy peasy. So we need to make ingots and amethysts. How do I warp? Snap. Warp. Oh my god, thank you. Silver ingot? I'm going to make three of these. Okay. Emerald, topaz, ruby, sapphire, amethyst. I think I only need one. Oh, I didn't see what the other one was. Damn it. Is it a ruby? I did not see what the other one was. Oh, 
Ah, at least we don't have to be outside the warp either. Oh, but... Looks like you brought the goods, so how about 10,000 gold for the three of them? Shh, more? Well, you're a much smarter trader than you look, but I haven't worked in this business for as long as I have just to be taken in now. How about I throw in a honey potion along with the gold? What else? How about a bitter potion instead? You can do better than that. You do drive a hard bargain, I'll give you that. How about some soft fur then? Try again. Fierce Beast Claw. I don't know how far I push this. You went tough customer. How about a hammer's beak? I don't even sell those in my shop. It's a pretty good trade. What do I do? I feel like I'm like I'm at that peak of what he's gonna offer me. Oh part of me really wants to push it. This game's map is the weird. This game's map is the weirdest part of the UI. It's a very video game, gaming looky, but not well integrated. Yeah, you gotta remember too. It was a PSP game. Yeah, no PS Vita game. So uh, ported to PC. So it works really well, probably on the Vita. Oh God, what am I gonna do? Does this thing auto save? <laughs> it doesn't. Oh no. <laughs> Do I reload? Like, how, what did I miss? What did he selling? What did I miss? Oh no. Oh fuck. Nope. Way to go, Vlad. You're a horrible haggler. <laughs> oh, is an emerald for the gable shoes. That was for Kalilica too, the hammer. Fuck. Oh well. I guess. So where am I supposed to go? Oh, that's right, into the forest. Which way is that? Map. It's up here. Why is there a treasure chest up there? Underground runes. So it shows if I left a chest. Zifnu, welcome on in. How you doing? Uh, Highland Town. I, I just want to warp to that. Thank you. Fucking hell, I can't believe I screwed that up. That's right, we're fighting the rats. I'm doing bubbly, I got to play with Alice and Heroes of Hammer Watch. Ooh. I haven't played that game in a while. Ooh, that was close.
She power levels you. <laughs> okay, so where do we need to go? Ooh, there's a memory over here. How do we get down to that? That's not gonna bring us close enough. I don't know how I'm supposed to get down to that thing. It's down there, right? Yeah, it's gotta be down there. I miss this the first time. Oh, it was because of you. What level are you at, and what class do you play, Ziff? Kalilika, this is Adol Kristen. He came from here from Hysteria. Hysteria? Devil's Tower Hysteria? Lord Eldeel did say it had been freed by a traveler who arrived here recently, but there's no way. <laughs> you wanted to meet him, didn't you? I didn't say anything about wanting to meet him. Jeez, when the way Lord Eldeel described him, I was expecting somebody of a lot stronger looking than this. Adol, Kalilika is very interested in the outside world. Much information finds its way here, but few of us get the chance to leave the town and see the world for ourselves. I'd greatly appreciate it if you'd let Kalilika hear about some of your adventures. Lisa. For now, though, I'm afraid I must go and report to Lord Eldeel. Time, I'll leave you two to become better acquainted. So that's where we met Kalilika. Oh fuck, I forgot they come back. different than this one. Oh, that's Wayward Guardians. Oh, is this where I'm supposed to go then? The super weapon test. So if I actually warp to here... We 
we go north into celery. Or is this just returning a quest? I think this is just returning a quest. Thanks for someone to equip the weapon I gave you and defeat the five Rangoas with it. Good luck. Oh, that's right. Where are those Rangoas, though? Let's go find the... Uh, I don't remember what are we, Do we have a bestiary? Journal monsters. What am I looking for? Okay, the giant pigs. I don't remember what does it tell me where they are? Um I didn't say kind of where they are though. Oh, that's right. This fucking thing hurts me too. It hurts me quite a bit. Dude, you're a dragon. You're not a pig. I feel like I saw them in like the green area. Fuck, I don't know. things. Like, you'd think they were close to the town, but I don't think they were. Like, I really don't remember seeing them. They're big ass birds. Big ass birds. Maybe they were, though. The dark part of the forest? Do you think that's where they were? That's River. What's the dark part of the forest? It all looks pretty damn light to me. <laughs> oh, there is another. Caves for the spider quest? Ah, I 
think so. Can't open while swimming. That's right. North side is all right. Okay. Wanted to see what's up here. There was a memory up here that we missed. Up, big dudes. I have not been here. Ah, uh, that's why. Alright. So celery is there. Misty Peak. No way it was here, was it? Fuck. Nope, I didn't fuck up. Where is the... It's not this area you're not talking about, is it? Spider was because the underground ruins. Or was this this was the this was not it. Because this is yep, yeah, after that's that's right. I am looking for a specific monster. The alligator foe, head east. Alligator foe. It would just tell me where I can find them. <laughs> the beastier you should say where I can. You just need to head a bit south. Of where I currently am, okay. There is a bestiary, but it doesn't tell you where the beast is, it just tells you about the beast. No, like, they could be found hanging out here. It'd be far too convenient, because then I could just fast travel to where I need to go kill this fucker. Okay, where is it? 
This save probably means they should have made the Force of Dawn into two parts. Yeah, there is two sets of the Force of Dawn, which is a fucking pain in the ass. Okay, here's our camp. And we're into the misty thing. Not up here. Past? Where? Okay. So I could have, should have kept going south then. That's what I'm understanding. Alright. There's literally no other exit around here. Up here is south. Oh. There it is. There we go. He's fucking hiding. I hate these fucking things. They paralyze. You might as well fight. I will level up in this one. Get out of the way of this fucking shooting shit. Is that Birdie? Yeah, I miss the chest that's in the water. I can't get it until I can figure out how to get the water to go down. Oh, we've never been up here. Can I swim and get it? I didn't think I could open them up when they're in the water. Yeah, I'll hit it on the way out. Look, actually, you know, we're close. Let's go check it out real quick. I could have swore I couldn't, but I will take your word for it because I know you've played this as well. Oh shit, there they are. apparently stumbled into a different area. Oh, that does heal so much faster. I just have a lot of health to heal. You motherfucker. I was healing. Five? 
Yeah, her voice is quite annoying. Okay. Artifact, Dragon Scales. E is Dive. Oh, I can open all underwater. Okay. Well, the nice thing about that game is those two should be back there already. No? Shit, how quickly do they respawn? Alright, hold on. Let's just continue to explore. I'm sure we'll run into more. These don't those fucking vines, man. Courage Scarf. That's not an artifact right now. Equip. What does it do? Obtain SP when walking. Hmm. Be nice considering how much SP I use. Can paralyze, man. Ooh, I hate it. Seriously? Oh shit. Nowhere near any of it. Okay. So we need to revive. Covers all these people that's fallen out like. Here's paralysis, because she's gonna drive me crazy if I have to listen to her and going. Can you turn the voices off? I'm not sure. I can turn the voices down. Although that no, that's not battle voices, I don't think. I think that's actual, like, them talking. I do not believe I can turn off right bumper.
Nope. I do not believe so. Oh, shit. Okay. Either these guys are really weak, or that fucking weapon is strong as all hell. Problem with the voice is lower, they also do have talking points in this game. And they will lose. That'll go down, too. Just destroy. Spirit King? Find an opening. Let's get him. Gotta heal. And my hand has gotta rest. I think I remember why I stopped playing the last time. I need to go see the chiropractor. Fucking carpal tunnel, man. Oh, so I'm coming in here. I thought this area was supposed to be done before I even went in there, but I ended up going in anyways. Struggled my ass through them. Oh, I bet I know where this leads. <laughs> How much you want to bet? Yep. Okay, so... Got a couple areas to look at still. Send us to a memory. Ow! Shortcut one way, you hate that. It's not too bad. It really, at the end of it, like, this game, you need to go, like, your main objective is to uncover the entire forest and map everything. So, really, it just allows you to travel better. But now that we are able to fast travel pretty much anywhere we want, that's. It doesn't matter. But enough of that, I found this a few days ago. It's. And this is... <laughs> it's not often I find someone who understands me quite like you do. It's been a long time since I've been able to talk to such a great length about the Great Forest to anyone. But I'm afraid I can't describe all of my exploits in just one day. So don't expect to get any sleep tonight. No worries, I'm up for it. <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear. I knew you were good for it. Well then, where were we? Hey ho! Oh, hello, Zara. Did you need something? <laughs> you know what I need. 
Time for tickles. I've come to tickle you both senseless. Oh, I see. We're in the middle of an important conversation right now, so... Spectacular! Still salty about Rabby Ribby. <laughs> no, no! Zara successfully put Gazcock to sleep. Haha, <laughs> victory! And now it's your turn. <laughs> Just kidding. It's okay. Everyone, you can come in now. Huh. Hmm, looks like Gascock is fast asleep. <laughs> good, good. I feel a little sorry for him, but we didn't have much of a choice. And as soon as he starts talking about his adventures in the forest, he's gone. Yeah, and we can't have him keeping Adol all to himself. <sighs> I did try to oppose such extreme measures, I assure you. <laughs> you could have just tried harder to stop us. You're just as guilty as we are. Who cares? It's party time. Though we should probably do something about Gascock here. Come on, Siru. We're carrying him to the bed. Grab its legs. Why me? Shut up and do as you're told. Celery was filled with excitement at Adol's arrival, and that excitement went on through the night. Oh, that's right, I also have the uh, max HP up. Uh, we could actually give it to Kalilika and put her into thousands. So have we... No. I'm not sure if they've seen it. Oh, you. I hit the wrong button. Well, because a lot of the stuff that they end up asking what you did, they they weren't there. They may have been there just to briefly, like, and a lot of them have said, oh, we met you. But a lot of the other things, they just haven't filled in. Like, that memory really is, you know, holds no significance at all. I don't know why that was a lost memory, but... It's also just because video games. <laughs> Stone. Okay. So if we check all of this. We went up and ran into the next area. I think I've checked it all. I'm going to go into the next area and see what they... Look at my map again real quick. Yep, okay. So I think we can head back to Celery, turn in that... Oh yeah, look in here, we've, we've checked it all. It's up over here that things start, I have not seen everything yet. But, okay, we can head back to Celery. I think you finished the test, so how did you like my weapon? Wasn't it sizzling? It was hot stuff. I can't believe you can say that with a straight face. <laughs> Must have given you quite the warm welcome, huh? As you probably figured out, it's barely usable as is. I'll get to work on refining it now, though. Based on your report, hang on just a second, okay? Am I gonna get this sword down? Alright, it's done. I'll name it the Amazingly Incredible Deadly Destructive... Siru, stop messing around in front of customers. 
You're calling it the Flame Sword, and that's fine. No one gives weapons boring names like that these days, you know? You've got to. Flame Sword. <laughs> Hey, what are you using his name for? He wasn't the one who forged it. This is my work, damn it. It's an injustice. I don't authorize the use of that name. It's not even my work without my amazing naming sense. Are you even listening? No. Oh, yeah. I actually made you a couple more new weapons while you've been away. I'll put a quest on the board so you get more chance to give it a gander. I'd love more help testing. Hyper weapon... Hold on. How much of a hit do I take? 28. So if I forge this, I could probably have it as good, if not better, than my Claymore. I'm uh, lending a hand, except really thanks. After hearing Duran talk about what happened last time, I have to kind of nervous. You're not going to ask us to text something harmful to our well-being again, are you? Of course not. It's a hyper weapon. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. I'll let you see for yourself, so I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise. You've done this before, so I don't think I need to explain much more. The two weapons I have for you this time are an amazing knife or a perilous spear. Which would you rather test? Perilous? Sounds like somebody's going to suffer either way. You can choose, Adel. I promise I won't hate you for it. Choose the knife. Alright, here you go. Same principles last time, equip it and defeat a set number of beasts with it. This time, I want the lucky subject to defeat five crockles. Can't remember where you'll find them, so I'll leave that part up to you. Crockles, is that the actual, like, giant things that we were fighting? It is. Okay. Well, I know where a couple of those are. I mean, we were just there. So I can't remember if there was one or two over here. Oh, those are even better than what she's currently using. Oh, she's slow as shit, though. I shouldn't have to beat her out and fight these things. I should be able to just have her having them equipped and then kill this thing. Do a couple more of these and then we'll continue on with the story. I'll get these knives just because they're stronger for her as it is.
Every time I see this combat, I think, oh, hey, they aren't just running into things anymore. I don't know why I just expected the combat to not evolve at all. <laughs> no, they've, they, they definitely improved. The only thing is, is after we played... Actually, I think the next one, Oath of Felgana, I believe, uses the... Because it's the updated game, so it uses this combat. It's when we go to 5 that we're going to go back to, like, I believe 5 is still bump attacks, if I remember right. Well, come on in, kid. How you doing, buddy? Do I have to be her to heal her? Is that two or three? Well, if I'm gonna use it, might as well use it on those other things that were harassing me. It was a waste. Pump attack is so lame. The ailments revert. Okay, so that's why her health is just kind of stuck where it is. Okay. Kill quest or item quest? A little of both? I have to kill so many with an item equipped to get that better version of that item. to be her to do this? No, am I just off on my count then? Sure, I don't have to be here. That was five. That was six, if anything. Hyper weapon test. Doesn't tell me how many. Five beasts called Crockles. That was that was easily five. I think I have to be here. But it, the last time it updated us after we killed all of them. I'm gonna try and see, but I swear it updated us. Oh, nope. Cell Ray's back there. Hyper Weapon Test is back. I don't know what's going on anymore. Six like Second Monster Hunter World no graphics don't look. Except the only difference is I enjoy this. I'm not a big fan of Monster Hunter. I, I've always wanted to like Monster Hunter, because like the premise seems really cool, but it, the... The gameplay to me is just hampered down by clunky controls and excess that I don't want. 
Yeah, alright, well we're not doing that right now. We'll do that later. Can I equip it? Do I have one to, that prevents heavy though? I do. I could go back and do that with her. Because what are they supposed to do for her? Um, so if I put that on, I go... Defense heavy. There's actually one that's closer than heading all the way back into there. Maybe she had to get the killing blow? Maybe that's what it was. Why is that mob so tanky? Cause it's, it's a big ass mob. It's not a small little guy. It's a giant fucking like dragon crocodile thing. Like I would expect it to be tanky. So what do you think? Wasn't it amazing? It was heavy stuff. You're enjoying this, aren't you, Otto? Very much. That sounds about right. I'll get to work on refining it now. Hang on a second. I did get a bunch of experience from that, so I'll take that. Here, it's done. I'll name it the Incredible, Glorious, Stunning... Siri, so give it up already. You're calling it the Spider Edge, and that's final. Hey, old man, don't interrupt me when I'm in the middle of... Spider Edge. Well, wait a second, are you seriously going with that? That's not my name. How can you let him override me? He's nothing to do with this. Well, I don't even want to be associated with it anymore. If that's how you're going to treat me, henceforth, this is Alan Smithy work. Okay. Alright. Equip... They are better. We lose, we lose burn, but we can put that back onto it. Um, next slide. Okay. Map. Where do I need to go? Journal. Where? What are we at right now? Island. We have the Wayward Guardians, but what about our actual story quest? Okay. Uh, Mary's suggestion to go deeper into the Great Forest into the area known as the Ashen Forest, where we were told there's a village in that area and its inhabitants may know something about the Mask of the Sun. We left Highland and the Ashen Forest accompanied by Kalilika, who's buried. Okay, how do I... I'm trying to see, like, where the entrance to the Ashen... Okay, it's up here? No? Ow. 
I'm not sure how to get to the Ash. There's an arrow telling me to go somewhere else. So let's pay attention to that. What? Alright, so we're back in here in the Highland Town. Let's leave Highland Town, I guess. This side? Maybe? We'll see. Okay, so she does some damage now. Does her thing cause heavy? Hell yeah. So it not only causes it on her, but it causes it on them. Alright, let's just go to the left. Nothing there. I don't understand where the entrance to the forest is. No, there's no... Let's not take us back to the beginning. It's gotta be up here. Okay. Um, real quick, we're gonna teleport back to Kassadin so I can upgrade my flame sword a couple of times and see if I can get that thing stronger than my claymore. Maybe even upgrade her new knives. Silver attack plus five with gold. Holy shit. Um, Still does need a 28, so what's the difference here? So strength is 74, what's... Strength's 102, so that's the difference there. Damn. I just wasted all those materials. <laughs> shitty. Morat Van, welcome on in. How are you doing? Yeah, this is probably one of the, this is, in my opinion, one of the best action JRPGs there is. I mean, action RPGs, period. I love the Isu series. They're, they're so much fun. Um, we'll leave that alone. We're fine. Make more of these. Uh, so to get the other thing, we needed an emerald. Maybe the topaz. So I want to be able to get that other uh, exchange materials. Exchange sturdy bone. No. Wait. To get sturdy bone, what do I need? Brittle bones. We get rid of all the brittle bones. Uh, 
half shells. Split hairs. Filthy liquid, don't have enough. Okay. Damaged lumber. And rotting leaves. Alright, so where do I go? It was Highland for the gems. Because I want to get my boots upgraded. Unleash artifact. Gale shoes. Awesome. Okay. So, now... I think if we go to the Tower of Providence, it looks like there's an area to the left. Maybe we'll play one again someday once I'm not working. Yeah. I get... I can understand that. Th these... So these games are really nice, though. It's not like... This isn't like your typical JRPG. These are... This game has a maximum of like 30 hours. Um, that, no, sorry, 25. 25 to 27 hours is what how long it beats in. These games are, I mean, they're an action RPG. They got a very JRPG feel to them, but they are not the hundreds of hours that a JRPG traditionally has. Which I think is why I like these even more, is because like you can have that feeling of playing a JRPG, but it's, it's a much more easy thing to chew. And the originals, like the early ones, so, because there's eight in the series right now, and the original ones are done, like, we did one and two in, I think it was six hours for each of them, and then this one is 27 or so, the next one's roughly the same, five is about another ten hours, like, so they, they are, they're small enough that, yeah, you can... Spend a couple weeks and get through them. Um, hold on everybody, my brother's calling me. I'll be right
All right, sorry about that, everybody. I'm bailing my brother out and helping him watch his pugs for the his pug for the Fourth of July, and uh, that was him just calling to give me all the information that I needed. All right, let's get back to this. That's gonna go out of the way. Nope. There we go. That's the shortcut to get back up. What in the world are you- you're chameleon. I've, I've already caught a couple of you. I just wasn't paying attention. Okay, so the heavy thing that she puts on there, that, that is money. They slow down, they don't attack nearly as much. It's almost OP. Okay, just big old circle. So is anybody in the States doing anything fun for the 4th of July? That's coming up in a couple days. I, I probably will. I might be streaming, but I honestly don't know. I don't think I'm doing anything. Um, fireworks are legal in my city that we just moved to, and I don't know how crazy my neighborhood gets. <laughs> so I'm probably just going to chill at the house and have a garden hose at the ready. Five thousand gold, hell yeah. It's just raining little gems everywhere. <laughs> This is not much of a forest. It told me to like go in back into the forest, and this is definitely not. This is very not forest like. I'm heavy. That's not good. I seriously just did that. Blue tree earring. Don't know if I have any of those. Um, quick. Let's see what it does. Increases obtaining SP. Can I just not be heavy anymore? 
And we have a memory around here somewhere. There we go. I see, so that's what happened when you were in Promalok. Well then, I guess the next thing I'd like to ask is... Hold on a minute, Caligula. If you've asked enough you've asked enough questions. At least let the rest of us have a chance to sneak one or two in. Yeah, he's not all yours. Hmm, I suppose you're right. Okay, my turn. My question is about the Pickards you've run into in your travels. Yes, I think you can save stupid questions like that until the end of time. The end of time? More importantly, Adel, do you have a girlfriend? Being pretty cute and a strong warrior, I'm sure you must have all the ladies swooning all over you. You haven't got a childhood friend back home you've sworn to spend your life with or something, have you? Or do you have passionate encounters with different girls everywhere you go? <laughs> oh, JRPGs. I don't know whether to take that reaction to mean you're pure-hearted or if I hit the nail right on the head. Come to think of it, you seem to be getting on really well with Lisa. You're not after her, are you? So what if I am? <laughs> if you are, don't you think be, you'll be getting off with just a slap on the wrist? Or don't think you'll be getting off with just a slap on the wrist? I'm sure Adol would never approach such a serious matter half-heartedly. But if you're ever to make Lisa cry, I'd be forced to cut all that lovely red hair off in your sleep. You've been warned. Adol, I think I speak for all men when I say I completely sympathize with your plight. Yeah. Anyway, going back to the Pickards. Okay, everyone, how about this? If you all keep showering poor Adol with questions, it's probably going to make him very uncomfortable. So from now on, everyone will be able to ask him one question and one question only. What? I suppose that does make sense, though. At this rate, we'd be here for hours otherwise. Okay, finally, so starting with me. Hold on, I'll be deciding the order. And that order is me first. But you've been asking him questions this whole time. You've had more than enough. Yeah, this isn't fair at all. <laughs> That's our Caligula. No one's going to be able to take control from her now. Okay. Battle space defense increases by one. And uh, I forgot. All the enemies come back after this. Oh, you're big. Oh, you're big. of beasts can no longer be felt in the surrounding area. The air is still and tranquil. We found a camp. Hell yes. Set up tent.
Enveloped in the clear air of the forest and the fragrance of the spirit tree, Adol felt his body drift into a deep, relaxing slumber. One of the memories sealed in the back of Adol's mind was restored. Adol appeared to be out of stamina and couldn't run any further. <laughs> Giving up already. What did he honestly hope to achieve by giving in to a mere human? Such a pitiful attempt. Now behold his eye, the true god finally gained the ultimate power. <laughs> Not again! How many times must you get in my way before you concede defeat? Could that be how we forgot our... We hit our head as we like we know we forget because we left Highlands and they had like this thing that made you forget. Are you okay, Adol? You're moaning in your sleep. I had a dream about Eldil. I had an inkling it may have been Eldil who attacked you in this area. Though it does beg the question, why did he not finish you off? Maybe it was the same kind of situation as when we met him in the tower. It doesn't seem like his other personality has fully awoken just yet, so he probably snapped out of it or something. Yeah, but how long is he going to be able to fight turning into that other person for good? That's what I'm worried about. We definitely need to hurry. Come on, let's find that village. Memory fragments are now available. It's down here. I don't know which way I want to go. Okay, we'll do this one. Okay, can't go that way. I don't know what the fuck is going on there, but that looks like some bad juju. Subterranean Forest. Okay. It's like a water bottle. Just really, really fucking big. <laughs>
I'm gonna level him a piece of 31. Oh yeah. for this area. I know I'm a little over level. Not too much. fall asleep already? Not surprised. I barely rested since we left Kramalak. Still can't believe he came all this way to find wild select Salcetan flowers. Oh my god, I don't know why I couldn't say that. <laughs> He's one tough guy to go to all the, through all this trouble at his age just to look for some medicinal herbs. And then we have you, set on exploring the Great Forest just because you're curious about it. You really aren't scared of anything, are you? I guess I wouldn't have it any other way, though. If I, if it weren't for you, that cursed island would still be cursed. There's never a dull moment with you around. Well, as long as I get to go on some exciting adventures, it's just fine by me. Who's that guy? His hat? That's cool. So this is the village of the wise? It looks almost magical from afar. I never would have expected to find a human settlement in a dark place like this. I'd heard about this village's existence in Highland, but I never thought I'd have a chance to actually see it for myself. This is your first time here too, right, Adol? Can't say for sure. Kind of wishy-washy answer is that. Are you looking to get kicked in the shins? If the Sanctuary of Storms were still active, we could be, couldn't be here right now. There's no way you could have been here before. Why so quiet, Durin? You're always first to make some comment about what's going on. You're Adol's voice! The silent treatment is kind of creepy coming from you. It's nothing. Let's get going. What does Durin know? This is really a strange place. It's in the primeval lands just like Highland, but the two places couldn't be more different. Someone is coming. Hello? Are you nervous? <laughs> How adorable. My name is Frida. I'm a warrior of this village who retells stories of the ancient past. Welcome, Adol. I know you've had a long journey. Have I met you before? <laughs> Maybe you have. What do you think? A lady needs to have a sense of mystery about her, doesn't she? Wasn't me. Where are you looking? I'm here. Here. Uh, how rude. 
Um, I'm Nina, an alchem alchemically created fairy. I'm Frida's partner in the village messenger. messenger. Hey, listen, right? Created? As in someone actually made you here? And you're a fairy, no less? I always thought fairies were just, well, fairy tales. Incredible. Huh, surprised? I bet you are. Any more questions? I'm in such a good mood today, I'll tell you anything you want to know. So what's it going to be? Freda's weight, her measurements, her ex's name? I can give you hints, or I'll just say them all. What? No, no, wait a minute, Nina. <laughs> I swear, she's always like this. Anyways, I... Wait, where were we? You were about to tell us how you know Adel's name. <clears throat> Alright, I guess I was... But I think there's someone else here who would be better suited to answer that question. Right? Don't you agree, Durin? Wait. If I explain everything in detail, we'll be here for hours. But in short, Durin here has been telling me all about you. This is where he's from, you see. What? <laughs> okay. Danan Village. Feels like such a long time since I last saw you, Durin. <laughs> Tell me, what's with that hairstyle? You don't actually think it suits you, do you? <laughs> it's dreadful. Shut up, you two. This is hardly the time to be talking about my hair. Adol and everyone else, too. I'm sorry for keeping so many secrets from all of you. Why didn't you tell us before? I'm really... I'm sorry. What? Pretty low, Durin. You better have a good explanation for all of this. And don't give me any of that you'll understand when you're older crap. I'll bite you so hard. You have your reasons, I trust. Uh, of course. This is a village where the descendants of those who committed an unforgivable sin in the past live in secret. And everything that we have done relates to that incident. An unforgivable sin? What do you mean? The Elder is going to explain all of that to you very soon. I'll take you to his residence now and show you around the village along the way. Yeah, no more secrets. I'll tell you everything there. Hmm. Well, I'm intrigued. Come on, Adel. The elder's house is the one in front of the central tower. If there's any, uh, if there's anywhere else you want to explore before we get there, just say the word. Like Frida's house. Come now. There's nothing there to see there. Now, Adel, shall we be off? I want to look around. I'm just gonna barge into people's houses, because that's what I do. I see you've honored your skills since we honed your skills since we last met. You can tell that at a glance, huh? Good old Dante. Well, uh, Frida's refined her skills as well since you've been gone, you know. I wonder who would win in a fight. Durin. Oh, I'm hurt, Adam. How about we take this outside and find out for sure? Uh, I think I'll pass. Besides, I couldn't seriously fight a woman. Oh, you couldn't? <laughs> How boring. Okay. So these are just people homes. There's there's nothing in them. The colored ones are the ones I'm really interested in. So what is this? Well, if it isn't Durin. <laughs> Haven't seen you here in a while. This is some kind of research facility. You could say that, yes. Our specialty is synthesizing elixirs and medicinal items. If you've got the money and the ingredients, we can make just about anything you could imagine. So what is it you want? A love potion? Something to make you invisible for nefarious purposes? Go on, name your wish. I think we're good for now. Come on, there's no shame in being honest. Humans are all beasts deep down. Right, Blondie? Why are you asking me? I think we're done here. Yeah, we should probably be leaving now. That's the 
fast forward. Durin, you're back. I see you brought some visitors with you, too. Have you come to buy something? Now nah, we're just showing them around in the moment. We'll come again soon, I'm sure. Alright, let me know anytime. Weapons, armors, items, if you need to, but probably sell it. Just let me know if you need anything. Okay, so... If we're gonna come back, there's no sense in... I'm, I'm good. I don't need to explore anything. I think this is the place. This is where the village elder Vanjo, or Vanyo, lives. He tends to ramble and is kind of difficult to get along with, so you might want to brace yourselves. I'm going to tell him you said that. Mm. Either way, there is somewhere else. If there's somewhere anywhere else you want to see, I suggest we go before heading inside. So what will it be? What will it be? Indecision is not becoming in a man, you know. Let's go inside. All right then, let's go play Von Leo visit. I brought them with me, Elder. Ah, so they're finally here. It's nice to meet you. Oh, spare me the self-introductions. I know all about you already, so you'll just be wasting your time. You want to know who we are, am I right? <laughs> well... We're a tribe of people who turned their backs on the gods and destroyed an entire ancient civilization. Huh? I don't really understand. It happened a long time ago, far overseas. Our ancestors stole a mighty power from the gods and sank their land to the bottom of the ocean. But one of those gods, a certain Lord Eldil as it were, forgave their sins and secretly brought them here to Celsita. Does that mean your ancestors lived in the kingdom of Celsita? Mm, the kingdom was full of good, honest people, including their benevolent king. It was far too nice a place for a tribe of sh sinners like us. So our ancestors settled here, underground, repenting for their sins and silently watching over the kingdom. But then something terrible happened. Something terrible. This is a story every man, woman, and child in this village knows by heart. Long ago, a winged sage came to Celsita. He gave the people wisdom and civilization, and in return they revered him as a god. But one day that god began to act with cruelty and malice, as if he'd become a different being altogether. Steadily, these acts of aggression grew until one day, he came to destroy the kingdom with its power. Was... was that god... He couldn't have been Lord Eldil, could it? Sound familiar, Adol? I believe you've witnessed something quite similar yourself. A certain winged acquaintance of yours suddenly behaving quite unlike himself in attacking without warning. No. That's not possible. I don't know the cause of this transformation, but the changes in Lord Eldil's behavior now reflect a similar pattern to his past of destroying the kingdom of Celsita. So we've decided to keep an eye on him and on those who visited his tower as well. We thought that maybe we could be of some service to him if the situation called for it. Then Adol was called to the tower and, well, down he went. I see, so you were the one assigned to watch over Adol then. Yeah. Listen, Adol, I'm I'm sorry for not telling you. There was just a lot on the line and it was also if I gained your trust I could be at your side. Thought it'd be easier. It's hard to blame him now that we've heard all that. Yeah, it's kind of a shame really. Hey. Well, he was only doing what I ordered him to do, so don't be too hard on him now. Having you around is a big help. It's been a big help having you around, Duran. Your behavior has been suspicious on occasion, but now that we know the truth behind your actions, I feel I speak for us all when I say that we are grateful to have you. Hmm, I think I can forgive you this time. Thanks, everyone. Adol, we are here in Danan to share the same objective as you. To 
pursue Lord Eldeo. And to that end, there's something I need to show you. Would you come outside for a moment? Don't worry, you'll understand when you see it. Huh. I don't understand. This way, Adel. Oh, the mask. This place is so beautiful. It's the only part of the village where sunlight can get through, huh? It's the most sacred place in the entirety of the subterranean forest. Ha! The sun here is far too bright for the likes of us. Perfect for sealing away a certain powerful object, if I must say. See for yourselves in that shrine. But don't get too close now. There's a real strong barrier keeping it safe. Is that... No, it couldn't be. It's a mask. Yep. That there is the mask of the sun. What? What's it doing here? I had it removed from Adel's grave. How the hell did you manage that? You were unaware of this? Yeah. Hmm. Why is this village full of such terrible people? Oh. Come now, that's not very fair of you, Durin. It had been left there. It may have been fallen into the hands of someone who really shouldn't have it. And you were so busy saving Adel after you fell into that waterfall, you certainly couldn't have claimed it. You should be grateful Freda was watching out for you. Bah! Saved me? Yeah, I was the one who pulled you out of the waterfall basin. Lord Eldeo was still unstable, groaning in agony like when we last met him in the tower. So I seized the chance to rescue you and somehow carried you all the way back to Kassanen. Still not sure how I pulled it off. I played my part as a messenger too. We all helped in our own way. So that's what happened. However, if Gruda and his allies are seeking the mask, they may be in the area. Is it safe to leave the mask so exposed? <laughs> no need to worry. The shrine's guarded by a powerful force field. It'd take one hell of a blast to break through that. This may seem like an obvious question, but what exactly is the mask? The replicas Gruda's men produced were used to strengthen the physical prowess of the Roman soldiers. The masks used in my village did the same thing. Ha! <laughs> That's just a side effect. The Mask of the Sun really allows its wearer to read the uh, Akashic Records where the world's blueprints are recorded. The Akashic Records? I've never heard of such a thing before. What do you mean by the world's blueprints? Just what it sounds like. The world's structure, its properties, its origins. Everything that ever happened in the past, even every damned thing that'll happen in the future, all collected in one book. What? Child of Highland, Think for a moment to Lord Eldeal's actions, and you'll have your answer. His actions? You mean giving people knowledge? Ah. Reading the blueprints of the world, using their contents to ration out knowledge and maintain global balance. It's the Mask of the Sun and the Akashic Records that make all that possible. So Gruda's real objective is the world's blueprints and the key to reading them. Where are these Akashic records located? In the former capital of the Kingdom of Salsita, deeper still within the forest. Yeah, well, that's where Grudus had it, no doubt. It's gotta be. He seemed to be mass producing copies of the mask. Do you think he plans to use those to read the Akashic records? Ha! <laughs> He's a talented magician, but no mere copy can even come close to approximating the works of the gods. It is possible, I bet, that in the process of duplicating the mask, he could have learned its true purpose. It's because of us that he and the Romans came to this land. What do you... Elder! What's the meaning of this? We're busy here, you know. Well, a girl showed up demanding we give her the mask. A girl? Don't tell me that sorceress. So this is where you all went. I 
is that? Lisa! Why are you... So, you're the Apostle Girl, eh? Surprised you found this place. Where have you been? I'm sorry for worrying you, Adel. However, I'm afraid there's no time to explain myself right now. You seem to be in quite the hurry. Why, exactly? Can't you take a moment to explain yourself again? You can't honestly expect us to hand you the mask on faith alone, little lady. I can save Lord Eldeal. Lisa. Guess you're not here under orders as an apostle, then. How about you at least tell us why you need the mask? At least then. What's going on? Above us. Bitch summoned a guardian? What is that thing? It's huge. It's Lisa's. What? It's hers? I apologize for being forced to take such an aggressive approach, but I simply don't have time to do this any other way. So, if you'd please. What? It, it can't be. We need to subdue it, Durin. Just don't let Le hurt Lisa in the process. Don't let us down. I don't know. You can't let her break the barrier and take the mask out. Sorry to ask, but will you lend us a hand? Alright. Thanks. Sorry to get you caught up in all this. This is a little late for sorry's on that. You can access the menu to prepare for battle. To change party members, use the party menu. Equip the skills can also be changed. What does she have? So she slash. Really nice if we had Pierce in there. I want Karma in there. As nice as it would be to have you. Frida is strong. Yeah, we'll keep her in then. I just know we get the bonus when you have all three. Um, up, 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 up. Let's get you situated here. Bosses, you want to double up? Okay. And let's go defense on you. There we go. And what has he got? Drop rate of red. Let's put a power ring on you. Can't save. Here we go. Alright. Ooh, that hurts. Oh, come on, that should have given me flash card. I dodged that. Heal my guy, nothing. Me. And he's dead. Great.
Why is that? Why am I not doing anything? Did we succeed? Ugh, that was one hell of a battle. It ain't over. No. I knew it. Conventional weapons aren't going to work against this thing. What? So it is a gal battle. I'm sorry, everyone. Soul, do it. Now I can finally save Lord Eldeal. <laughs> well done, little apostle. So, Frida, he's here. <laughs> finally, the Mask of the Sun is mine. You, you, <laughs> don't think too poorly of me, little apostle. I kept my word. I told you where the mask was, but I never once promised I'd let you have it. You have only your own naivety to blame for this. <laughs> I should have known. You always did enjoy making a grand entrance, Gruda. But is this any way to treat your own people? What? Fuck it, he knows him? Are you saying... Several years ago, one of our own broke the laws of our village and unraveled the secrets our ancestors sealed away. The men fled the village, taking a small group of supporters with him, and gave himself over to the Roman Empire. His name was Gruda, and he was once a magician from Danai. Wait. Stay where you are, Adol. The goddess Bami and the Mass Division are occupying the village. You wouldn't want any... Unfortunate accidents, would you? Holding your own homeland hostage now? You are despicable. You're just as much of a slime as ever. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, I bear no emotional attachment to this dreary place. <laughs> Perhaps it is destiny that I should obtain the mask here. In honor of this occasion, we shall hereby refer to ourselves as Darklings. Come now, is that really so surprising? It is perfectly fitting name for those who have obtained the power of the gods through these unorthodox means. Crudit, you... You really haven't changed at all, have you? What do you mean he hasn't changed? Back when he was still in the village, Crudit researched the power our ancestors stole from the gods. They called themselves that name, and to this day, the word is considered impure. It's bad luck to think it, much less say it. <laughs> the blood of the Darklings flows within you as much as it does in me. No matter how far you repress it, it is a part of you and it always will be. Bruda! Regardless, now that I have what I seek, I see nothing more to be gained by remaining here. And though I may not have much attachment to this place, I suppose that it is still my home, so I'll leave peacefully today. Should you continue your fruitless attempts to stand in my way, however, I won't be quite so merciful next time. Wait! <laughs> He's gone. Lisa. Tell us like a adult I What have I done? Well, this has been a hell of a day. No point just standing here, though. Let's go back to my place and sort all this out. So, young apostle, what were you trying to do with the Mask of the Sun? Ruda implied he said something to you about it. Yes, he told me the last time Lord Eldeal was behaving strangely, the Mask of the Sun was used to calm him. And so I... I'm so sorry. That scumbag. Well, what's done is done. I'm more interested to know what that you are descended to the seated royal family, aren't you? How did you... 
These are his? Oh, <clears throat> that's news to me. That white gobelin of yours was the dead giveaway. Legend has it, it was created by King Lafance to fend off Lord Eldeel after he lost control of himself. So King Lafance and Lord Eldeel fought each other? That's what they say. Not that there are any surviving records to confirm one way or the other, of course. <clears throat> what we do know for certain is the Galbans were created using a forbidden technology our ancestors sealed away. King Lafance was a righteous man, so knowing he allegedly resorted to the use of such technology shows his unease. Yes, that explains how it was able to destroy the barrier. He... The soul was given to me by my father to carry out the rite of summoning. I was told he'd been passed down in the family for generations. I had no idea his creation had come about under circumstances like that. You rode on soul too, Adol. Lisa used him to take you to see Lord Eldeel. I don't remember. Your memory should return in time. I must say, it was rather difficult finding you out in that forest. This is Adol we're talking about. The guy never sits still. He can't even sleep without sneaking out a window first. The thing I find most difficult to accept is that the man who attacked Highland was from Danan. Yeah, he had me completely fooled that there was no doubt in my mind he was a Roman commander. Ruda was one of the most intelligent people in the village. He was also a wise man in his day who loathed the sin our ancestors committed more than anyone else. And that hatred drove him to study the incident in greater detail. But somehow or another during his studies, he became attracted to the power of the gods that they had attempted to steal. Why would that be? Only he knows the answer to that. We naturally admonished the hell out of him and for what he was doing. Just out of nowhere, he gathered a small group of supporters and left the village and that was the end of that. In addition to keeping an eye on Lord Eldeel, we've been trying our best to track him down all this time. Most likely, he managed to gain the support of Rom for his research into the mask. And now he has returned to the forest. So where's he headed next? He must have sussed out the mask's true power by now. Which means there's only one thing he could possibly be after. The Akashic Re Records, the blueprints of the world, which can only be read using the mask power. On the other side of the Ashen Forest is the old capital of the Kingdom of Celsita. It's called El Duke. And in its center sits the Temple of the Sun, where Lord Eldeel lived when the kingdom still existed. Supposedly, that's where the Akashic Records can be found. Supposedly. The door to the temple is sealed, and we've tried to open it many times, but we've never been able to get inside. So we can't be certain that it's in there, but considering his resourcefulness up until now, Gruda may have found a way. When I was talking with Gruda, he also mentioned that Lord Eldeel is headed to El for Elduke as well. Mm. It seems Elduke is the main point of interest for all parties then. Including you, Adol, if you ever want to learn the truth about what happened to you. You need to confront Eldeel. And that's just what I'll do. Elduke, huh? This will be my first time there too. Elder, I would like to go with Adol as well. Me too. You can stay. Hmm, well, you are familiar with the route, but are you sure? In a way, you may be the single most unstable, unsuitable person for this task. I'll be okay. I've had more than enough time for my wounds to heal. Frida. I bet her and Gruda were, were a thing. <laughs> well, I know better than to argue with you. I think I say it's going to change your mind. So go on ahead. You need a guide anyway. Thank you, Elder. I will be going on ahead to Elduke. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? <laughs> I won't be alone. I have soul with me. And there are a few things I'd like to look into. About your ancestor, King Lafonce? Yes. I'd like to know what happened to King Lafonce and Lord Eldeel when the Kingdom of Salsita fell. If I can learn even that much, I might be able to find some means of returning Lord Eldeel to normal. Well, don't push yourself too hard, okay? Not gonna say anything at all. 
catch up as soon as we can. I'll be eagerly awaiting you. Take care, everyone. I'm certain that one day you, Eldiel, and I will be able to drink tea together once more. And I'll be certain to brew the best tea I can possibly find. Goodbye for now. And there she goes. Feminine yet courageous. She's a fine girl, eh, Asma? No. I, I had no intention of... Uh, men. They're like animals, aren't they? Durin, please refrain from making such comments. The others have begun grouping with me with you. It's time we should get moving, Adol. We have a lot of ground to cover. Free to join the party? You can now accept quests and deny. I think... What time is it? Perfect. 10 o'clock. 10.10. 10. I think this is the perfect spot to end for the evening. So thank you for everybody coming out tonight. I hope you guys are enjoying Memories of Celtic's Sita. I think we're we're close. we got to be getting real close to finishing up this game. I don't think we have maybe a couple more streams of it. Um, tomorrow night, the plan is to stream more of this. Thursday, if I do decide to stream, we might just play around with them. It might just be a random mixed bag, or we probably will. Um, since it's a holiday here in the States, I don't know if I necessarily want to do any of the story games I've been playing uh, due to people showing up. So uh, we'll probably put Outer Wilds on the hold for this week. And then Friday is Vlad's Humble Picks. So um, that's kind of what we got coming up the next few days. Let's see if there is anybody that we can send a host on over to. Nope. So, looking like we're just going to end here. Thank you, everyone. I hope you enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon, and evening, wherever you are in the world. I will see you tomorrow for more Isu Memories of Celsita. Good night.